We're here today to update the board. In the last week and a half, we've closed just about three, well, two thirds of our goal. And considering how far we were to begin with, we're basically at our goal. So, Mollybug, how much are we adding to the board right now? Please say that loud and say it proud. Fourteen million two hundred and sixty-eight thousand. How much? One hundred and forty-seven. One hundred and forty-seven. Closed in the last two weeks. And what was our good goal for the year? Fifteen million. And we're barely halfway through June, so we still have the other six months to get the next $5 million to hit our great goal for the year. Woot woot. All right. Well, with everybody on vacation, working, and everybody's busy, so we got kind of a smaller group today, which is kind of good. Um, you guys are the lucky ones that get to make a lot of decisions for the rest of the group. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How cool is that? <laughs> um, so welcome everybody. I'm sure everybody got to meet Jake, I think, by now. Um, Jake's just one of my favorite people in the world. We only worked together very, very briefly, kind of, but everybody knew, knew Jake, and it's just an awesome, awesome guy. Um, he's one of the, uh, literally, how many stores did Men's Warehouse have when you joined? Not here? No, just in general. Here didn't uh, exist. 40, <laughs> yeah, 40, no, not 40. 40 stores, now they're up well past 500 and then include everybody else that they have. It's crazy. So um, he was sent down here essentially to help open all the men's warehouses to start the market essentially. And the very first store was in Paradise Valley and you have pictures of him with everybody and just awesome. So uh, I'll let you tell a little bit more. That's what I know. He's just, when it comes to men's warehouse, he, he was a staple, great, great, great salesman, just a great leader. And I mean, I cannot, words cannot express how happy I am and how lucky we are to have you. I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Did you work for the company or were you the buyer's agent? Or? Uh, no, I worked for the company. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, um, so you worked with other realtors to acquire the. No, uh, he was a men's warehouse. He was literally just a man. He was a manager there. Oh, you weren't doing the stores. Open stores, like open stores, right. is in created the whole market when PV took off. Then, did you actually go to Fiesta or? Yeah. Yeah. Fiesta. Yeah. Was, was I mean, PV the first store. Yeah. 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 The first one. It just took off from there out here. It was. We didn't know what was going to happen in Arizona because it's so hot. And, you know, you saw yeah, so so hot. who wears suits in uh, Arizona? You came from <laughs> Seattle. Seattle, Washington. Yeah, yeah they transferred <laughs> me here from Seattle. <laughs> so, um, if you don't mind, tell a little bit about your um, what you did with uh, real estate before, but then a little bit about your your book, my stuff, and really fast, if you don't mind. Oh, oh that was uh, yeah. I work with uh, well, really a publishing company out of Minnesota back in the 70s. And uh, they still, you know, still doing the same thing. And we started with uh, real estate and mortgage companies. And they had a publication that was called The Guide to the Buyers and Sellers. The whole idea of it back then, which is now everybody's doing it, but at that time, uh, it's a fax book mm -hmm. that we would, uh, that real care agents would give out to their prospect clients and so and use it at open houses and uh, we would do advertising on it so we would get contractors to participate on the program and uh, give the, uh, the broker about a thousand copies with their uh, the logo and they got the front page to put whatever they want and they got the semaphore of the publication and uh, it just took off and it has been around forever and just now we have all your uh, title companies and uh, mortgage companies giving you materials just the same to give to your clients mm -hmm. that inform them of the different uh, things they're going to go through during closing 
uh, preparing them for moving. I've given them a, a complete glossary of uh, different terms and that they want to hear from through the agents as they go through the you know the pro problems, process. So it was a very nice publication, and um, we started out doing it in the basement. I was with the uh, company at that time when they first started. It was just me and a couple other guys that, that had started the company. Wow, and so I awesome. With them. So we would go out, sell the ads, and uh, come home, go down in his basement. <laughs> we had a small little printing press. We oh would print God. everything. We had to do the typesetting. We had to do everything. <laughs> and we, you know, we didn't know much about any of it, but we learned. No computers and, then, huh? Oh, yeah. So I stayed with the company for over 15 years. Wow. And uh, now they one of the largest publishing companies in Minnesota doing the same thing. And it just shows you that something that they started at that time with very oh, a little time competition, was but yeah. it was totally new to the market. And... Uh, built it into a large publishing company. And they still do the books. They do the folders like this. They do books. We, this is what we, we started with this one and moved on to folders and, and they all over the United States. Wow. So it was That's a, exciting. And we still use them. I use them out here. <laughs> Yeah, if you ever, it's a it's a nice little supplemental thing that you could actually kind of do on your own if you put together like a group of like ten of your go-to vendors, and you can make a customized book with your vendors in it, and they'll actually basically help. I mean, they would essentially pay for the whole thing to get done. Yeah, if you get them. It doesn't yeah. cost you anything. Yeah. So. So do they get remunerated from uh, ads? Yeah. They sell ads. Yeah, we sell. Uh, and your, it would be your vendors, so basically. Companies, you know, yeah. whoever you work with. Mm -hmm. So that's who participates in it. But it's, it's a good deal. So um, over the next few months, we're really wanting to close up a few odds and ends that we've been wanting to do just for a very long time that would be very good for us in general. So this is something that I came up with. I wanted to get feedback from everybody as far as um, flags go. Um, open houses. Uh, great to have uh, when we do any um, job fair, for example, great to have. Um, anything else we do, like, um, for example, if we ever did it, like, uh, um, shoot, what was it? You know, any of those things like uh, Western Festival, you know, different things like that. Whenever we have booths, the flags would get people's attention, things like that. So whenever we're doing sponsorships, um, I think that these are awesome. And I really, really like this honestly not this way you or give you you know but when we put this together and originally I had open house right here but then dad was like well we could use it for more than that so when I switched it to brepham.com it it fits and it sticks out and so uh thoughts I love it is this the one that you pull up and it clicks on the top and you, it's about this is 10 feet tall the, the banner itself this is 10 feet tall. This is on a pole. The pole, and it flag. has, the, you know, like oh, Courtney okay. had, you know, for his stuff and everything. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So oh, this I is a legitimate. Did the, the curvature thing because yeah. it's like. Yeah, what about the one that comes up that, that un, yep. unrolls? Yep. And here's the retractable. Okay. And unfortunately, I. Um, let me see if I could. Um, uh, how, how can I zoom in a little bit on this one? There we go. No? How come you're not letting me zoom? I guess that's as far as it let me zoom, essentially. But it says customized business plan to hit the ground running, full training program, leads, 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 broker access and support, tools you need to succeed, signs, cards, log boxes, websites, and much more, multiple income opportunities with residual income, social activities throughout the year. And then our logo, that, and boom. That's about six feet tall. Um, taller than that, I believe. Um, uh, I 
my little scrolling screen just like ridiculous. I don't know exactly how tall it was. I thought, I think it was just a hair taller total than six feet. I think total was like seven feet because when standing up, it was like right here. So the banner itself might be six feet plus the stand, maybe. Okay, cool. So this is an open house. Now this this would be for uh, more like when we do. Um, uh, career days, um, agent opportunities when we do any booths, because obviously we're always looking for agents and uh, Salvation if, Army. Yeah. When you guys, yeah, when you guys are doing your things, ring the bell, have it behind us now. Uh, uh, you know, we're always looking for agents. So uh, last week or two weeks ago, Brooke and Amber did Westford uh, Career Day. And so this would be something to take with whoever, you know, if you're going to be doing it or when we do it. So, um, does it uh, take special permitting? It's a movable sign. No, it's just, just a small retractable sign. That's what I like to stick. Just take them inside and put them, check booth. put them in your booth. Yeah. So, um, so, yeah. So, thoughts on that one? Yay. Cool. All right. Now, I know this is going to be a little crazy, but polo shirts. I like Break that. Real Break Breakthrough real, real estate, estate and property management. Unfortunately, I don't know how to make the, that. Uh, the attorney said that we need to put LLC. LLC. That's what I thought. Everything. Okay. Oh, well, we so, do? Yeah. Okay. As far as our own advertisement. And mm -hmm. Even on our signs? Yeah, for, for us, it, it's just... Shared signs? Okay, mm -hmm. I could add it. Interesting. Ugly. Why? Why do... It's ugly, but I understand. I don't know that oh, we I need to have one here. But, but I just, I haven't had a chance to tell you that yeah. Because that's so the legal name. This is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but don't we have a DBA as breakthrough? Did a DBA, then we can do, we don't have to put the LLC. Because yeah. I was involved in that at Simon and that. She works a lot with a lot opposite. of lawyers and stuff. Mm -hmm. so just I go, can find out for you. Just we, go, just put a DBA yep. in. Okay. So, and then. Yeah, um, I can help, let me know. And then here's the women's version. <laughs> yeah, I, like that. I, like it. I don't know yeah. why the women have th three lines and the men have you four using the same font. Yeah, every make it smaller for us. You, is, know, that you, guys yeah. being flat. you have more space <laughs> yeah. to put things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the same font. It's just with guys, it, it requires but, but you four. You know what, you guys, it looks like a bigger font then for the women. I didn't change it. Okay. Literally, that's how it adapted it specifically. That's yeah, that's why I kind of like the Vista's women? version because okay. it just made it very yeah. easy. And do you? Um, okay, now let me. Um, do you do that on your own uh, sewing machine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want me to do yeah, that. Yeah, I just bought it. Um, <laughs> so I had. Um, I sent you guys that. The t shirt. Mm -hmm. But that was my. You mean the time. banner? No, no, the actual one is <laughs> Walking banner? What day was that? Wasn't it Saturday? Saturday or Sunday. Um, so that would have been the 24th day. Oh. Uh, darn it. Okay. Um, I thought I. Okay, I don't know why it's going crazy that's annoying. There we go. <laughs> okay, now these are the t-shirts. Um, just warning you ahead of time, they are louder. Okay, and right off the bat, um, this was just a demo thing, so we're, we're either going to switch this to black yeah. or um, have black border with still the green on the interior, but either way it's going to be more legible. And then the back, this, is going to be smaller. It'll actually be like right about uh, here. Okay. Because it stands out. Yeah. <laughs> what about just doing breakthrough? Just the word itself. Without all of the color. Like that, the nobody color. knows what that is. I veto that one right off. Because that one doesn't say anything about what we do at all. Like that, no. That one's okay, not. So the front is going to have. That's our logo. We should be happy with our logo. <laughs> Otherwise, it shouldn't be our logo. But I don't wear. It may not be designer. That's why you wear collared shirts. You can have the polo. Alley, that's what we're wearing, so Feel free to wear the polo. Right? 
<laughs> but this okay. will be a little bit smaller. All so. right. But, um, okay, so on the front, what did you say about the words? Cause it will either be in right. black, because you can't really see that see that well. So I agree. Yeah. I so would like say just this make it one, black. And then, black. Um, yeah. Just make it black. Yeah. Just make it do outline color. Because like, then we could do... Um, what, what about just putting breakthrough on the front? Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, let's do the How about just doing the word breakthrough on the front, Josh? Since you have the low, since you have the whole sign on the back. Can you outline the green letters with black? Outline the green letters? We, yeah. If for some reason it makes it tough to read, I don't know why. Yeah. Use the different green. The next one over. You have black in there. Mm -hmm. Don't see the green though. Yeah, let me get rid of that one. Either make it black or dark green. But the dark green doesn't match, so like it doesn't go with any of our stuff. So if yeah. we're gonna go, I'd rather just go yeah. black. Yeah. Okay. Let's see it was black. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Black. Since we have the back is all loud, no, no, I don't yeah. mind. Since I, the back is loud, I don't mind I the black on the front. I completely agree. I mean, that in and of itself is going to catch anybody's eye. So. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And then. Um, oh, there we go. All right, now this we could shrink. <laughs> Feel like we're on a bowling <laughs> We can make bowling shirts if you want. Yeah. The button down with the panels. I mean, that'd be Ooh. awesome. Yeah. That looks great, baby. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, I like it better that it's a little bit smaller. You know I like the front silly? being black. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. You know what's silly is that the white on the inside. We were like, well, let's change the shirt color to see what it did, and. Um, the black shirt turned the whole middle to black. black. <laughs> yeah, and you couldn't read it. Okay. No, it's great. That's great. Oh, so it doesn't allow the... the no, because then breakthrough would have to be in white for it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess. Have, so they it didn't allow the, the logo to stand as its own logo. They had, like, I guess they literally through. faded out, yeah, like without actually printing it, yeah. Which I kind of like because the screen printing kind of, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So is this a better size, lower, higher, right, left? I love it. I, I think I think it's perfect. Now that you've made that adjustment, it looks great. There we go. Sorry. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to be out bold. <laughs> then you, yeah. yeah. You'll, I'll you'll make your, your you, I'll give you a pink polo. Did you, did you try? Give, give him did you a try little around pink? The, uh, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, yeah. so I'll just take my business uh, card to the back of my shirt. Can we do that? We should be able to do that. You don't want to be saying that. Um, All of you who are so colorful. Yeah, that's why we want to Okay. So if we do like the polo shirts, we can have like maybe certain office days, like when we're here to wear them, say like for our office meetings or... Well, uh, we're, we're, about. we're hitting our 10 this month. So, for example, next month on the 29th, we're going to be doing our Uptown Alley. Is that what we decided? What was the name of it? Did we decide Uptown Alley last? Was that what we I decided? Think yes. I think that's what we said. So, prime example, first opportunity to wear them. Yeah. Then our front office will, will wear them. And then I promised Jake, since we're going to go, since our first one is Extreme East Valley, or West Valley, that the next one will be more... East we're Valley. Gonna, we're going to go out of state. <laughs> <laughs> the other side of me. We're going to go to the... It's not it, the, that bad. No, yeah. It's the caves that are on the border. <coughs> New Mexico. So, we like? For yeah. now? Okay. Yeah. Okay, go back to the front. I just want to make sure that that is a decently readable. The we can fine. I just, is, is, the, uh, is the type... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> not sensor sensor. <laughs> Let's see. Is that block lettering? It's uh, it's a um, the hand bold. What does that say there on the? It doesn't say management, does it? It kind of goes away. No, it says in property management. 
Yeah, M-E-N-T. Wow. Right here. This is the what it says, and then this is the uh, font. Yep. I guess we could start using it. Was it MGMT for management? Text size. So it's only it's less than an inch. It's like three quarters of an inch almost each each. Did no. I, I, like I, I think that. management it needs to be the whole word. Yeah, I agree. Okay. So what? <coughs> so what other what other fonts are available? Um, I like that one because it was clean and kind of tall made it easier to read because a lot of them changed it to too big. So I had to kind of be careful as far as Arial was just again. Yeah. Um, some of them were fun, but they weren't no. what we needed, and I had to oh shrink them down pretty far. Um, let's see, this one, that one was very legible. <laughs> um, I probably shrink it down before. Buffalo. See, that one's really tough. Any, any of them? I mean, they have a lot. This was kind of neat, but it was big. Who's the house group? The largest, fastest, and most accurate database of homes, along with our best local user experience. Sign up today to receive daily updates on new homes on the market that meet your set criteria. If you find a home you would like to see, just click on the schedule showing link and we will contact you as soon as possible. Okay, so that's the first one. And then if you go down to the bottom, or uh, where's the other one? Oh, over here. Home buying process. See, so on the phone, it shows up the latest searches. Home. There are a lot of people involved in the home buying process you should be familiar with. Real estate agents, lenders, inspectors, and escrow will all play a role in your home purchase. So let's talk a little about what these people do. You're going to want to find a real estate agent who is a realtor, because not all agents are. Realtors have a higher standard they are required to follow. Your realtor is going to research the right properties for you, run down appointments and showings, negotiate prices, and contract terms and take the time to answer any questions you may have. As a buyer, you'll want to have a different agent than the one who represents seller. With your own representation, you'll know your realtor is working specifically for your interests. The great part for the buyer is the seller pays the commissions for both agents. That means you as a buyer pay nothing to your agent. Next, you'll want to contact the lender. Lenders can be banks, mortgage companies, and credit unions, and your realtor can give a few recommendations if you need them. The lender is going to ask you about your employment, your assets, and your income. Once you put together an application, they will work on getting your loan approved and getting you a pre-approval letter so you can then start house hunting. Once you and your realtor have found the perfect home for you and you make an offer, it's then time for you to hire an inspector. The inspector checks the exterior and interior of the home and will provide you with a written report on the home's condition. You can then decide if you want to ask the seller to make repairs and or reduce the listing price to make up for any issues the inspector finds. Working in the background, we have escrow and title. The title companies do research to ensure the home's ownership can be legally transferred to you, and escrow manages the closing process according to your contract. They coordinate getting your down payment money and the bank's money safely to the seller, as well as getting you the legal title to the home. So that's just a quick introduction to all of the people involved in helping you buy a home. You'll certainly want to learn more, and remember, your realtor is the first point of contact for any questions you may have. We pride ourselves in going above and beyond the call of duty for our clients. So please don't ADD hesitate to ask us I love watching them draw the pictures. The buying the process can be complex. <laughs> we hope this video has helped explain it a little more. Please call, text, or email us anytime. And we look forward to helping you find the perfect home.
I love it. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, no, I love it. Cool. Right on. Okay, so. Yeah, this and, maybe we can get a group shot too. Yes. Especially if everybody's wearing their stuff. Yeah, and like Diana, you have yours set up. So, for example, he did go back through. And he, you know, you have everything on yours too. So every agent page has everything our main website has. Only it has your info and your little bio. You still have the um, Valley of the Sun search, how much is my home worth. You have the listings and he tried to customize to the area. So if you're West Valley, West Valley, East Valley, East Valley, you'll notice that those are going to pop up. And notice on yours too, um, where was it? Uh, yeah, Black Canyon City, search by city. So he, his main focus was up here for yours, but then you still have all the other areas down here too. And um, in case you don't know, uh, market reports, utilize these. Um, for example, Goodyear market report. I went through um, and set up a bunch of these uh, a couple months ago, and then he, th him and his developers came back through and finished up all the cities I wasn't able to hit. And basically, this is all the sales in, in Goodyear. For the last 30 days and it keeps them completely completely updated on their area and if you want we can do neighborhoods subdivisions we can do whatever market report people want and that's one of the biggest benefits of the real geek site because um just like a uh the auto update keeps them updated on all the new listings that fit their criteria all your past clients and listings and sellers you can keep them updated on the market values so okay any questions on that Cool. Perfect. All right. And um, as we keep going through, you know, any suggestions, if, you know, if you think we can, if it would be, help, let me know. And if it is, yeah, we'll certainly add it. Um, and cool. Uh, I think that's it as far as the website. Um, I love this picture. And um, every page will have these two. And notice how they pop up and change color. Mm -hmm. And these are the details. Like, one of the first things that caught my eye was, he's like, do you realize how many different greens you have going on? So he went, first thing he did was come through and uniform our whole website. So it is the same on every single page. Notice even the button's green. How awesome is that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, all right. We got, oh, okay. Bad, bad news here. Um, and unfortunately, some of our agents that are doing the most work aren't here. Uh, paperwork, very, very, very important. Um, per ADRE, we have to have it signed off. The broker has to sign off within two weeks. That's why we made the rule one week for our agents. That way it gives us a week to tackle it on our end. Um, we, this week, we found out several listings that people had that never submitted paperwork from a couple months ago. Um, and we had just a couple different things. And so we all just need to be on the same page. The general rule you need, you should have, if your clients signed it, we need a copy of it. Okay, it's that simple. If your client, has, if they didn't sign it, don't worry about it. The, the moment they sign it, we need a copy of it and that's it. So just send it within a week and we're good to go. That's it. So um, just very, it would, it's just one of those stupid things. If the ADRE is not going to be nice to me, unfortunately, I can't be nice to the agents. <laughs> and that's just a lose-lose, you know? So let's try to avoid that.